Welcome back, guys. Uh, I today I thought I'd continue the, th the the series that I started just recently on learning Manjaro. Um, the more I get into Manjaro, the more I realize that uh, it's very easy, uh, but you just need to know where to look for things. And there are so many issues that you face within Linux that more easily solved within Manjaro. Now I still enjoy using some of my other distros, uh, Ubuntu based and Debian based, but I'm sticking with Manjaro for the time being uh, because I'm enjoying learning it. Uh, it's always good to learn something new no matter what age you are and uh, so I'm having a lot of fun just digging in and finding out what you can do, what you can't do, the similarities and the differences. So today I'd just like to go over desktop environments. Now here I have the uh, Fluxbox desktop environment which to be quite honest is not for everyone. It's it's uh, minimal, uh, it does not hold your hand as far as desktop configuration. You need to dig into it and do a little research to get things um, set up the way you want. For example, let's say the toolbar at the bottom um, within a, a standard XFCE uh, distribution as an example you can um, go into the settings and just change the panel location pretty easily. Um, here it's, it's a little different. You need to know where to look and so uh, I'll, I'll first take the time to show you that. If you right click on your Fluxbox desktop, go down to Fluxbox, then to Configure, then to Toolbar. Now you see the difference? You have to dig through the menus. It's not as intuitively placed as it is on some of the other desktop environments. And so if you go to Toolbar and Placement, you'll see that I have it. It's grayed out the bottom center is grayed out. Um, so let's say I want to move it to the top center. It's as easy as that. So it's it, you just need to know where to look. Uh, I personally like having it at the top so I think I'm gonna leave it there uh, for the time being. Um, and as you can see I've got all my icons in the system tray. And um, these are all my auto start programs which are the typical ones that I usually select. Clip it, um, P-Sensor, Redshift, Caffeine. Those are the four that I usually put in there uh, for automatic start. Now speaking of automatic start, uh, here is how you do that within Fluxbox. Open your file manager double click on Fluxbox, double click on Startup. It's going to give you a couple of options. You want to click on Open. This is where all of your startup programs are located. The format here is pretty simple. You list your program, leave a space, and put an AND sign. Okay. So when you want to add something to the tray, you can see that I have multiple programs that start when I turn on the computer and I've got OpenShot, Kazam, GU, VC View, Chromium, Geary and the reason I have those is I do a lot of my videos on this particular computer so when I turn it on I get Kazam, G GU, VC View. Those are the two items that I need to do the videos and OpenShot uh, to do a little editing after. So it's as simple as that if you just follow this format now one thing I can tell you, never ever put a program after the last Fluxbox execution statement. You see this here? Okay, and it says do not put an ampersand after this. A Fluxbox will exit immediately. So stick to the middle to add your programs and then put the and sign after. Leave, leave the bottom section alone. Uh, 
or else it won't operate properly. So that's how simple it is to add your programs in. All you need to know is the command for the program. So I'm going to close that out and the next topic and I'm, uh, this is the last topic for this video. Um, I'm going to show you how to add a desktop environment. So let's say you uh, download Fluxbox and you say to yourself, well, this is not quite what I like. I, I, I like to have something a little bit more intuitive and I'd like to uh, be a little more comfortable with the desktop environment. Uh, what you can do is add, instead of doing a dual boot and, and adding a whole uh, other Manjaro distribution to your hard drive, you can just add the desktop environment and that way when you log in you'll have a choice of which desktop environment you want now on this particular Fluxbox install I've already added XFCE because I enjoy using that I'm leaving Fluxbox because I want to learn Fluxbox and so um, if I'm in a hurry and I'm doing something uh, on the computer I'll use XFCE if I want to learn Fluxbox I'll log in to Fluxbox very easy now I'll show you how to uh, install your desktop preferences there is a web page for installing desktop environments and I'll post the link in the show notes but it's Manjaro. It's geared towards Manjaro, and you can read through. It's get an overview, but it lists all of the desktop environments that you can install and the commands needed to install them. So I went ahead and installed XFCE. I used the XFCE install command, and I also added the goodies, which are a lot of extra themes, desktop backgrounds. It really makes it complete. I'm not a big fan of KDE, so I'm going to leave that alone. Also not a big fan of GNOME. Uh, but Cinnamon is something that uh, when moving from Windows, Cinnamon kind of makes the transition easier. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to install that and uh, we can follow along together. What we'll need to do is open a terminal and we will need to just copy and paste these commands in. Proceed with installation, yes. And it installs it fairly quickly. Okay, so that's number one. Now, it goes on to say if you're installing Cinema alone on the Net Edition, the Net Edition of Manjaro is basically bare bones. It doesn't have a desktop environment. Um, so if you are using the Net Edition, then it's essential to install the terminal. And they give you a, uh, a, a command to install the terminal. But I don't need that. And so now that I have Cinnamon installed, I'm going to pause the video and I will reboot and uh, log back in and I will select cinnamon now when you go to the login screen which I won't be able to video uh, when you go to the login screen up the top there's a little wrench like a settings icon if you click on that you'll be able to select either Fluxbox in my case I'll have Fluxbox cinnamon and XFCE so uh, I'll be right back with you and we'll take a look at what cinnamon looks like okay welcome back guys now <clears throat> as you can see uh, this looks totally different from Fluxbox uh, and this is the cinnamon desktop now this uh, this would be what you'd be looking at if you uh, added cinnamon as one of your desktop environments and logged in so let's see what else we have here now we've got all the categories broken down and you can search within the box so let's say looking for GUVC view there it is uh, all the settings should be the same so you've got your themes backgrounds effects 
desktop settings. Now here is where when you go into your desktop settings you can select the icons that you want on your desktop. So what we'll do is we will put the trash there and we will put computer there. And that's about all I'm going to add. So if we go back to settings you can see it's pretty much standard cinnamon. Really nice, really intuitive everything is there so and again you can switch back and forth between desktop environments so that way you don't have to um, do a dual boot uh, to enjoy a little variety on your desktop environments so that's as easy as it gets guys I hope you enjoyed it if you have any questions post them in the comment section uh, as always please rate comment and subscribe and I will see you next time Take care, guys.